Hey everyone, my name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. And what this video is about today is about keeping it real. Keeping your sobriety recovery real. And I don't care if you're an Overeaters Anonymous, Gamblers, Gamblers Anonymous, NA, Cocaine Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, whatever anonymous that you're in, this video is gonna be really good for you because it's about keeping it real. It's about being true to yourself. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. That's how I'm gonna start the new year off is about what do we mean, what do I mean by keeping it real? One of the biggest things in recovery, I don't care, like I said, what you're addicted to or what you have problems with, is dealing with yourself. And when I mean dealing with yourself, I mean, do you have the ability to be honest with yourself? And what level is that honesty? And what are you wanting to sacrifice for your sobriety? What do you want to sacrifice for your peace of mind? Where that sacrifice comes from or knowing what we need to do comes from being honest with ourselves, not honest with our wife, with our parents, with our boyfriend, with our kids, with our preacher, with the police, whoever it is, but honest with ourselves. And then you know, you know the old saying, right? The truth will set you free and it really will. In recovery, in alcohol, in active alcoholism, just the very act of taking a drink or gambling or Overeaters Anonymous, whatever it is, just that very act separates us from our needs and wants. Or we start to be delusional of what our needs or wants are in our lives. We start separating ourselves from ourselves. We do that. When we sober up, when we stop that adaptive addiction and learn a different way of life, it feels very uncomfortable, very awkward, and a lot of us really don't know what we're doing. Am I right? We really don't know what we're doing? Because I know I didn't know what I was doing in early recovery. I didn't know my ass from a hole in the ground when I sobered up. I knew like primal things, like I wanted sex. I know I needed money. I know I needed food. And I know I needed somewhere to live. Everything we do in our addiction, we are separating ourselves from our true selves. We are separating ourselves from our needs and we, our wants. And without being honest with ourselves, it is very difficult to return from that. It is very difficult to find oneself if we are not honest with ourselves. Honesty is like, the rudder in the ship. The more honest we, the more honest we are with ourselves, we will stay more balanced. The less honest we are with ourselves, the rudder will sway and the boat will sway. And that's why in early recovery, it's kind of like that. Because honesty takes work, right? Honesty takes, we have to eliminate fear. We have to gain some courage to be honest with ourselves because being honest with ourselves can be pretty scary. It really can. And I'm talking about honesty to ourselves, not honesty to your, not honest to your parents, to your loved ones, to your children, to yourself, keeping it real. What is it real? What are the choices that you have to make in your recovery, the honest choices to get yourself back on track? Because honesty will pull you back into yourself. It'll get you to know who you are. You will start understanding the way you think. You'll start understanding your needs and wants, things you don't want in life, things you want in life, how you feel when certain situations occur, what you need to do, and what you need to get some courage to do. And honesty is like that. Honesty is the building block of sobriety on any level. If your sobriety is, you know, if you're relapsing all over the place, you're having difficulties in your life, you need to look at your level of honesty within yourself. If you're still lying to yourself, if you're getting in situations that you're just doing it because you want sex 
or you're doing it because you're greedy or you're doing it because you know it's wrong to do but you're doing it anyways because it's easier for you to get ahead in life or it's easier to have a sense of ease and comfort in your life you need to really take a look at that most of us in recovery we're lost in the compass to find us to find ourselves back to our true self is the compass of honesty is that ability to be honest with ourselves and that will help you regain regain and that will help you recover that will help you feel better about yourself that will help you build a big and full life a contented life and with honesty comes courage it really does okay so that's what I want to start off this year talking about is the building block of sobriety one of the main ones is is the ability to be honest and I think in Alcoholics Anonymous it says most if you have the ability to be honest with ourselves we will recover we will recover okay my name is Terry G this is an alcohol free life channel where we're ready to live sober one day at a time you can take a second can you please subscribe to my channel take another second and hit that like button I really appreciate it I'll see you next week Thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now. God bless you. God bless.